All right, hi guys, Chris Shoes, dietitian here and uh, founder of Mealsy. So what I'm doing today is I'm putting together a ketogenic diet for a 37-year-old female. Uh, she's been diagnosed with pre-diabetes um, and she wants to lose weight. Now, um, I'll go through some details here. Obviously, I don't identify her. She's happy for me to talk about her meal plan going together. Um, just no identification, obviously, for obvious reasons. Now, like I said, she's 37 years old. She's female. Um, she's 165 centimetres tall, weighing 89 kg. So puts her BMI at around 33. Uh, she's not that active, but she's going to start uh, walking every day. She has started walking every day. Um, so she wants to do keto now. She, her husband's doing keto. She's had heaps of friends that have done it. Um, she's dabbled in it, but you know, not hadn't had really any help with it. So she's pretty adamant she wants to do keto now. With pre-diabetes or even you know early onset like type two, like in the early stages, I mean, um, then the evidence is actually pretty clear now. If you can get that weight off, uh, particularly around the waist. Um, you know, relatively quickly in a safe way, I don't mean dangerously, but uh, it, it helps to regenerate the beta cells in the pancreas and then get them start producing insulin more effectively. Uh, and so weight loss is really, really, really critical at this point. Um, and so we, we've got a really good chance for someone that's pre-diabetic. If we can get a lot of weight off quick, and if keto is the thing that's going to do it for her, then uh, it's a great option. So uh, we, we're going to be reasonably aggressive but I don't you know for the one of a better word um, we, we want to get results for her but maintain muscle mass control hunger and make sure it's sustainable long term so it's a bit of a balance but um, I'll show you how we do that now she's on some blood pressure medications so she's, she's got blood pressure and pre-diabetes that's it um, she's on some medication none that interact some of those blood pressure medications you've just got to check that they don't interact with like grapefruit or star fruit um, but she's all good there um, she doesn't have any allergies or intolerances but she doesn't like capsicum so she doesn't want any capsicum in the meal plan which is done um, she like i said yes has blood pressure but that's it no other major medical history she um, does better, she says, on three main meals and two snacks a day. Um, I talked to her about the potential to maybe reduce the snacks, but she said, like, traditionally she would just miss breakfast and then graze all day, and so those snacking um, patterns were pretty important. She wanted them there. Um, and, yes, she's happy to have leftovers was the other thing. So what I'll do is I'm going to go and show you what... I think about when I'm putting this plan together. So again, I haven't identified her, but I'll show you the uh, energy calculator. Um, so three, well, let me go back a sec. So she's um, 37. I've put down her goal as goal weight. So I know she's pre-diabetic and blood pressure, but I focus on the weight and then I'll, I'll tailor the diet that it's keto. So it's going to be low carb and, and the weight loss is going to help with blood pressure as well. Um, got all her details there. Uh, she that's her meal pattern and the suggested uh, kilojoule intake like her, her, her maintenance calories or kilojoules are around seven and a half thousand kilojoules uh, which is, I think is about 1700 calories um, so that's her maintenance and we're going to create about a two two and a half thousand kilojoule or about a five to six hundred calorie deficit and that that will be enough to see some gains particularly with um, her walking every day now i know some people freak out that 1200 calories is too low um, but look I'll, I'll show you what to do with the diet there's a big volume of food um, plenty of protein I, i've communicated to her that you know this is just a guide if she is hungry we'll, we'll manage that and she can have the odd snack to, to increase it but um, there'll be big volume of protein in this diet and our goal is to get that weight off uh, particularly from around the liver and pan pancreas as fast as we can so we're just going to update that okay so i've excluded capsicum i haven't put any meal tags there so that's things like is she vegan or vegetarian so i haven't had to do that I've just put keto, that's the only nutrition tag we need to put, and I've excluded capsicum. She's got two kids at hubby, so they're, they're, there's four serves in the dinner, but she said she fends for herself every other meal. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So I can just hit auto generate, and that will spin up an option for us. Um, now let's see what it's throwing up first time around, okay? So she said she was happy to have smoothies through the week. So we will. Um, we will do that. Now, I am on a 
pretty poor internet connection at the moment. Let me refresh that and see if those images come up. Um, yeah, as you can see, I'm on a really slow internet connection. All the kids are on. I'll, I'll just keep going while those images come up. We're thinking about it. Okay, so let's see what it's thrown up. Um, so she did like smoothies through the week. Um, I might try and go and find another smoothie. So she's not really going to be into cooking through the week for breakfast. So what I'll do is I'll go in and let's see what other options we've got. So there's a peanut butter and raspberry smoothie, chocolate smoothie, let's throw that in and there's another one there. So I think two smoothie types are enough so that she's not having to go and get a heap of uh, ingredients. Right, and then we'll leave the hot breakfast of the weekend. Yep, we'll leave those two. I think she's going to be pretty happy with that. And she will cook for the family on the weekend, she said. Now, in, I'm going to leave the hand and bacon there because um, in this first week in particular with keto, she's going to drop a heap of fluid and a heap of sodium out of the body. So we've got to try and keep that sodium up. Um, so a bit of ham and bacon there. Now, you know, yes, they're not the healthiest things long term, but in the shorter term, if we can get that up, that's what we're looking for. Now, the other thing that I'm looking at here is fibre. Okay, so when we're on a ketogenic diet, fibre can be a bit of a challenge. Um, so I want to really try and get that up around 25 if I can. Um, now, I also don't like to have a huge variety of different nuts. I like to keep them all the same. Um, because I don't want someone to have to go and buy, you know, millions of different types of nuts. Just got to be as practical as possible. Actually, I might swap that one out. So I'll just look after all the um, snacks first. Now, it's not showing a huge variety of snacks that are available in this kilojoule range. So I'm just going to go outside our kilojoule range there. Um, we should have some strawberries somewhere. There they are. I'm just going to add strawberries as a snack because they're not too bad fibre-wise. Um, might drag them across over here, replace the cashews. A bit of avocado as a scoop isn't a bad one for ketosis. Um, tomatoes there, smoothie. Um, just a lean protein shake. Um, how is the protein? Now, some people can freak out a bit about too much protein. That one is up there. Probably wouldn't want it any higher. Um, and the carbs are sitting around 28. I'm actually pretty happy with the with the carbs at 10%, fat at 50%. I know some people like to push that up around 70, um, you know, 60 or 70, but we'll, we'll just – I'll see where that lands at the end. If I need to bring the protein down, I can. Uh, but because she's trying to lose weight, it's really important that I'm controlling hunger and protein is the best for that. And, and also when you're in a calorie deficit, you want plenty of protein to try and preserve that lean muscle mass. So uh, protein is really good for that as well. Um, so I'll come back and look at the nutrition information after I move a few things around. So what we're going to do is um, I'm going to look that okay so something like a stir fry these at lunch aren't really suitable they're more dinners um so they've what i'll do is uh i might go and replace she said she likes wraps and sandwiches for lunch and when we had a chat like there's actually some really good like keto friendly breads and wraps that are on the market now that are quite suitable um so if i just type in wrap she doesn't want tuna, she said. Um, so we'll go for a creamy dill. So I might make that on there. And then what we'll do on this one is I might look for a sandwich. Um, so there's a really good uh, bread that comes from um, Woolworths. I think Cole's got one at Aldi do, and they're like an 85% lower carb bread. And so there. There you'll see here, it should have low carb, high protein bread. So Macro's one brand or the Aldi 85% low carb bread. Uh, then Herman brought us another brand. 
So if we add like a, just a simple sandwich, um, and then we do that on multiple days, then that is gonna bring the fiber right up. Okay, so now we're looking at we're at 30 grams of fiber on average. So, you know, her, her RDI for fiber is 25, her suggested dietary target is 28. So we're, we're achieving greater than that on a keto diet, which is fantastic. Um, okay, so that's through the week. So Monday, she's going to have a bit of uh, pasta. You know, I know that sounds funny. We're on keto, but again, it's using the slender soybean pastas, really high fiber, really low carb. Stir fry for dinner on Tuesday, salad on Wednesday. Um, it's a, a different variety of chicken salad on Thursday. So I might scrap that because she's probably not going to want it two nights in a row. Let's see what else we got. Um, oops, don't want a sandwich there. Okay, let's go for dinner. Let's go for a bit of barbecue salmon and salad. Um, because it's warming up, I'm not afraid to have a bit more salad than normal than a Greek inspired salad and then some roast chicken and veggies on Sunday. Um, stir fry for lunch on Saturday. I don't know, I might leave the tuna and mixed greens. I'll leave that there and see what she thinks. I don't know. I, she may not be wrapped having to cook something for lunch on a Saturday. Um, yeah, no, I might, I might scrap that, but I'll leave the tuna and, and uh, mixed greens for lunch on Sunday because that's a nice, easy throw together. But we can say, oops, start topping sandwich. And let's go something slightly different, but still using that low carb bread. Uh, okay, so that gives plenty of variety through the week. Uh, nice easy lunches, nice easy breakfast, hot breakfast of a weekend, some simple snacks to just grab and go. Um, and where do we end up nutritionally? Okay, so we've got 31 grams of protein, pretty happy with that. Fat got closer to 60%, so I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, and carbs are at nine, so that's a pretty good outcome. Um, what have we got there? Thursday, but it's particularly low on sodium. Okay, so Thursday. Okay, so I'll just get her to add a little bit of salt on those boiled eggs um, and, yeah, a little bit of salt on the salad, a bit of feta, and that will pick up the sodium there. She's going to drop a heap of sodium, so we, we probably need a little bit more. So I'm going to get her to be a bit generous at the table just for this first week while she's um, going into ketosis, but after that we can adjust. 30 grams of carb on wrap with, that's fantastic. A big hit there on Tuesday uh, was was a big heavy lifter. Carbs, we kept at 30 grams. Is that going to get her into ketosis? We're not really going to know. She's got ketone sticks. We should be able to do some testing, um, but that, that will definitely get her close. Uh, protein, I'm happy with, and we ended up at a bit above 1,200 calories, which I'm happy with as well, um, and a good volume of food, about 1.3 kilos of food most days. All right, done. So uh, yeah, I, I think she should be pretty happy with this. I'll send her the meal plan and the shopping list and she can get started. All right, thanks guys. Um, that's me done. Um, if anyone else would like a meal plan, there's a little link here I'll put at the bottom. Um, you can click on that and uh, I can put a meal plan together for you. It's $97 for me to put that meal plan together for you. Uh, I can you know, talk you through it and um, you know, come to the shopping list and a seven day meal plan with all the recipe cards. So yeah. If you're interested, by all means, just click on that link and uh, we can get started. Thanks.